The NFL briefing team owners right now on the stadium situation in Los Angeles, including the Chargers and Raiders proposal to move to Carson. It's one of the major items in this week's NFL owners meetings in Arizona. San Diego Six's Derek Stahl joins us live from Qualcomm Stadium with the latest on the efforts to keep the team here. Derek. Good afternoon. Members of the Mayor's Stadium Advisory Group say the Chargers, Raiders, and Rams are basically lobbying these team owners and jockeying for position. They say it benefits the Chargers to convince the team owners that negotiations here are going badly. NFL owners will get a close look at new illustrations and schematics for Stan Kroenke's Inglewood Stadium proposal this week. But when it comes to moving any team to L.A., turning renderings into reality requires the approval of three-fourths of NFL owners. If they can show, you know, I can't get something done here, then that opens the door for them to have the ability to be able to move. Former NFL executive Jim Steig is a member of the Citizen Stadium Advisory Group. He says that clause in the NFL relocation policy explains some of the doom and gloom in recent rhetoric from the Chargers. A team spokesperson has said the Chargers aren't optimistic about financing a new stadium in Mission Valley. This is going to be a plan that's going to have, I don't know what the number, six to ten different financing elements cobbled together to come up with the whole package. It's not going to be one magic elixir that all of a sudden you come out and you say, okay, I'm going to sell PSLs for $700 million. Well, that's not going to work here in San Diego. What could work is development on the 166-acre site, at least for some of the financing, according to District 7 Council Member Scott Sherman. Mixed use, retail and commercial, some office buildings, some restaurants and those types of things, you know, nightlife destination, and then some density housing. It would be a combination of all three. Backers of the Carson Stadium plan have already gathered all the signatures they need to put the proposal on the ballot. But Stieg says fans there need a reality check. I wonder if all those people realized that it was going to cost them $7,500 to $10,000 a person as a PSL to be able to attend the games, uh, or if they can't afford the PSLs. They may never get to walk into the stadium because somebody else is going to have those seats. PSLs are personal seat licenses. I did reach out to a spokesperson for the Chargers, but he is in the NFL owners meeting right now. The meeting goes until 530. No vote is expected at the end of this week. A final conclusion may not be reached until about the fall. Reporting live from Qualcomm Stadium, Derek Stahl, San Diego 6 News.